misapproach to hoop one, Robbie will have another chance to build something. Yes. So what's the uh, what's the way that you do this, Kerry? Are you trying to get a rush on red to oh, rush down, <coughs> rush on red to the uh, blue ball, and pop it back up to two. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's how a, would it's, you do it's, it? Well, it's, it it doesn't look easy. Um, so obviously the red ball is going to be rushed down and probably back up to two with him going to the corner one ball, I suppose, mm. leaving himself a, a, an approach shot which will be quite similar to the approach shot he had last time. Yes. And knowing Robbie, he'll have gained significant intel from that, that previous approach. And... There he goes. Oh, and he clatters into the peg. So we're getting some interesting... Interesting things happening now. Mm. That, that red ball does not make it all the way down south. Thunders into the peg. And um, that, that leaves a, a very different situation to what Robbie would have been anticipating. So uh, a thick takeoff to blue? Yeah, I guess he doesn't really mind where the red goes. It's not going to go anywhere particularly useful for him anyway, is it? So he, his, his priority is just to make sure he gets where he wants to be on the blue. Um, and then I guess he'll he'll just be playing the approach shot mm. from corner one. But you're right, he is going to, he's going to thickishly take off. <laughs> yeah, good call. Yes, that peg can be tricky. Jumps in the way every now and then. Yeah, the uh, the golf croquet players don't even know why it's there. <laughs> Same as the flags and the peg and yeah. the side pegs, <laughs> corner pegs. So. Almost a repeat of the last, mm. the last approach for him, which he did standing up last time. Yeah. But you think this one will be, this will be a roll well, this time. Well, red's. Red's a bit more threatening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's south. Yeah. yeah. We'll Let's wait see. see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and red, red, of course, is the ball that Matt would like to play with. Mm. Whereas before, it was the yellow ball that was up there. And you're right, it's a roll this time. Yeah, yep. ah, you're calling it every time, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All those years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> so they say there's no mistakes in croquet. You're just gathering... Is that, is just gathering intel. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So All right. Well, in that case, I'm very good. I've got an encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll know so it's a little bit fast. Big roll. Around hoop one. So yeah. See how and, it goes. And actually, seeing as there's been a couple of misjudges there, there may, maybe maybe there's a bit of character there. So in it comes. Letting it roll in. And Beautiful. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's yep. certainly from our elevated position in the commentary box that, that yeah, looks he'll uh, give this a crack. That looks pretty straightforward for him. Quite whether he'd think of running that under control or I don't know, but it I think he's sort of got to, really. He doesn't want to give himself a, a massively long return roke by thumping this up to to the north too far. Oh, 
Well, certainly taking his time, treating this hoop run with a lot of respect. Well, the, co the uh, settings are quite tight. They are, they're, they're, as tight, they're as tight as they can be. The hoops are yeah. tight in the ground, and that's Ooh. how tight they are. And he's through. That is exactly how tight they are in the ground. And now we will see referees come on. So uh, Robbie with a hampered shot now, having made hoop one. And doesn't look to be too bad. He's come through by about four inches, five inches or so. Certainly the referee not putting down an entire stellar constellation of markers, which is what sometimes you see. Hmm, interesting. But, but Robbie, no. Yeah. He's not all that, not all that confident. I think maybe if he's decided to do a sweep shot, we might need to get another referee out there. So one referee will be looking at the body yeah. position. But actually, it turns out that what Robbie actually uh, wants is the hoop to be t to be tightened a bit. So or the carrots. Oh, to the be carrots. Are, yeah, yeah. So the hoop to be hammered in further. So the bottom of the hoop, which is the carrots. So what would be really good here is if, if they so just much. hammered it in so far that the hoop disappeared, <laughs> and then he'd have a very clean shot. <laughs> Okay, carrots are suitably dispatched to the earth. And still some deliberation. Really, really having to think about this. He's actually going for the red now, I think. Is he? No. It's hard. I can't tell from this angle what he's decided to do here. He has. He's decided to go for the red, Got which it. he hits. Nicely done. There you go. Brilliant shot. Brilliant shot. So have you discussed the new balls with Pete and, uh, there's and been the differences? Well, there's been a lot of uh, discussion on the, oh, okay. the chat line yes. there uh, about the, the new balls. And uh, and how have you found them? Uh, well, I mean, the balls are not the, the, the limiting factor in my, <laughs> my performance, <laughs> but, uh, but they certainly do behave slightly differently. And it'll mm. just be a question of getting used to them. And, uh, you know, we're all, as players, we're all really appreciative of the the efforts that the, the community that supports the game by producing things like hoops and balls mm, and mallets definitely. and so on. And, and, you know, it's it's fantastic that so much thought and engineering prowess is it goes into all of that. So, uh, you know, a lot of experimentation goes into the, mm. the, 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 the way that the balls are made and the compound that's used and the cooking time and all the rest of it it's, it's uh, a lot of science i'm sure that honest. there's you know there's a i'd like to go go and have a rummage through the reject bin i think that would be uh probably be, <laughs> be, be, some, interesting. Be, be some good value in there so robbie safely through hoop two with his black ball 
And he even has a pioneer in that yellow ball at hoop three. So this is looking pretty solid now for the, for the break. All he has to do here is load the red ball to hoop four and get a nice rush on that blue ball to take it up in the vicinity of corner three. And he must have heard what I said. I don't know whether that's allowed. Would that, be, would that, that would be cheating, yeah, wouldn't coaching. it? If, if, if Robbie Fletcher, you know, took my advice from the commentary box, I'd... I think we might have to report that to the referee. And he's listening to you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> really, Carrie Ann, I, I think you're, you're, you're <laughs> yes. No, you're probably quite right. So will Alan be coming up to do a little bit of, bit of commentary, do you think? Oh, I'll have to ask him. Yeah, tell him to. Yeah. So Robbie now with a, a four ball break ahead of him, uh, which will make things extremely intriguing in this game, a game which... Uh, to me, it looked like he would have had a, a, good, a good chance of the, the, the triple. Um, be interested to hear what the, the experts say about um, the way that he played the ball movements after, after uh, making a start on that second break. But yes. Uh, whether to go into the get the yeah, ball out of the corner, corner yeah, four, yeah, the corner four, yeah, mm. because to 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 me as a, a less experienced player, that seemed to be the the thing to do to get that ball out of there. But um, but no doubt there will be some some expert opinion that will uh, illuminate us on that score. Robbie safely through, and and now thinking about the starting to think about the leaves, starting to think about which balls he is going to put in which positions for Matt, because obviously there's there's substantial issues regarding which ball he wants Matt to play with. Yes. Uh, so. It's, there's certainly not a quality between the, the red and the yellow balls. Well, with the leave set, you are encouraging them to pick up the yellow. Hopefully. But now he's just concentrating on a tight, steady break. Yep. Yeah, this is turning out to be a very intriguing game, but I think uh, what we might do is um, go back over to court number four because Robbie's in full swing on this break and the the game between Ed and Reg, Reg has just started again. And in fact, what appears to have happened there is that Red, uh, that Ed has hit second turn and is actually starting or attempting to start a second turn nine. But that does not look as if it's going to happen now. So it's sort of almost turn if Ed doesn't shoot at this. 
Who do you think you'll do, Carrie Anne? Do you think you'll actually have a go at that? No. no. Seriously? I wouldn't. Yeah, so so he's he's basically now treating this like the super shot that we saw yeah. on the last so the same as Roberts and uh, Matthew's game it's almost like putting a super shot in and then responding with another yeah, yeah. ball sort of ball. Um, lateral to that mm -hmm. yeah So intriguing stuff here. So will Reg do the same as Robbie? Will he hit and his own ball? And have a yes, have a shot at his own. Well, you'd you'd sort of expect that if th if that's what the top players do, then that's 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 the response that you would expect to happen. I think, uh, I mean, I th uh, players of, uh, uh, of our standard perhaps might think of playing it quite gently up to our own ball so that if we miss, we, we don't leave a, a double and we haven't risked putting the ball out into B ball. Mm -hmm. but, but that's... But how many super shots did you have during the... I, against me or, yeah, you know, you. people putting it in? Um, well, they... Uh, perhaps about four or five. And in each case, I I went to the maximum distance on the, on the eastern In this tournament. In this tournament, That's yeah. interesting because I didn't have one. You didn't have any, no. yeah. I noticed a lot of people did corner two openings. If, we, if yes. I went first and did the, the standard position to north of mm. corner four, then uh, the response was nearly always her. In fact, I think it was always that. I don't think anyone made a tice or even a duffer's tice. So. I had a, f yeah, a few tices and a few duffers, yeah. but yeah, I agree. The majority were corner two. Anyway, Rach having a think about it, so clearly the, clearly the response, Carrie Ann, is not absolutely set in concrete no. there is some um, there are schools of thought on this one and in fact Reg is heading off on the little walk to Beevalk So this um, this does interest me, Carrie Ann, because the, the I would have thought the distance is slightly longer because both both of the the ball, the black ball and the yellow ball, are, are south, of the s peg. south of the peg. So his reg has slightly increased the distance, perhaps. Um, I mean, not by much, I, mm. but it's interesting. think about this as expected on lawn three Robbie is continuing with his textbook break everything no. he's made his way to one back now with a perfect pioneer and a perfect pivot and all the rest of it so and Reg is now heading south with his ball having mm -hmm. decided Possibly again, you know, pondering over what the commentators are saying, <laughs> and thinking, "Oh, Gareth and Kerry Ann think this." You know, I think that's. Oh, well, Ed's dear. certainly got him thinking. <laughs> so. so, 
think we are. I think Rachel possibly decided, but I don't know why he's looking south towards the oh, pavilion. Just giving way to Samir, who's just oh, okay. around hoop six. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just waiting till there's no distractions from lawn one. <coughs> Meanwhile, on lawn three, Robbie is just about to make one back. Now. Looks like he's Ridge. shooting for his own ball. Reg looks like he's shooting for his own ball, which is what we saw before. Mm. Yes. Getting that mental preparation. It was an amazing scene yesterday in one particular shot of about this length where Reg was about to shoot and the referee was looking over the... It was Mignon Johnston that was looking over the, the ball uh, over the, because it was jaws in a hoop yes. that he was shooting at. And there was this bizarre moment when they were both frozen like statues because, of course, she was desperately trying not to move. <laughs> To put him off, and he was des and he was totally in a trance with his pre-shot routine. It was like a game of statues, you know. Anyway, here he comes to take this incredibly important shot. Oh, just in the middle. Nice. Just, you know. Yes, I can do that every time. Yeah, right. yeah it was a, like a tap on, really, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, would probably be, we'll we'll wait, we'll see what Reg does with this um, this potential third turn nine, but then. It would also be good in a moment, once he's got that going, if he gets that going, then we'll pop back over to lawn three, uh, where Robbie is just coming to the end of his, his break. But uh, we'll stick with Reg for the moment on lawn four, see whether or not he gets a nice takeoff to get a rush on yellow to hoop one. Peter's come back into the commentary box with Rosie this time. But Rosie is saying to me that she's not here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know who this strange person is that's just walked in. But, uh, yeah. Well, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carrie. Thank you for having that's me. Great. I'll hand over to Pete. What time do we get Kerry in back? Mm. So Reg is... Um, Reg has rather overrun his the ball here. So Pete, you're you're up with with what has happened so far. No, I've been driving. You've been for driving. An hour. Oh, well, we've been. You. So we're. Um, so Reg. Uh, so finished, uh, Reg finished off to take the two 0 Yes, week. that's correct. Yeah, and. Uh, Reg is in now on the third ball, but um, uh, after after Ed hit the the second ball, and then tried to start a second turn nine, but uh, ended up laying both the balls up in a very deep both both by the peg essentially, right. and Reg thought for a very long time about what he would do, yep. and eventually ended up um, hitting the black ball with the blue ball. And, uh, at full pace. At, at full pace, and uh, the, the black is in a position which is not diff all that different Difficult. to where it, where it ended up. And Reg had to take off. Uh, had to, had a take off to 
to the yellow ball, which was by the peg, but sort of overran it a bit. Okay. And that's why he oh, yeah. finds himself with this rather long mm, take-off. Take off. Okay, so a bit, of yeah, a bit, yep. of, bit of an direction there. And on um, lawn three, um, there's been some really interesting interaction. And Robbie is um, uh, currently on three back. But I'll tell you more about that after we've you know, just seen know. Reg yeah, play a beautiful know. shot down. Beautiful, beautiful take-off. Robert down to like one. setting for a pretty well standard leave and diagonal spread. Yep. So we'll. Uh, I see Matthew's red clippers on hoop four. So yes. I take that some of the interaction you're talking about. That's correct. That's correct. And was that with first or second ball for Matthew? Uh, that was the second ball. So he um, he blobbed hoop three. Um, with a set triple with in front of them? Well, no, it was an interesting situation because um, he he didn't have the ball, the lawn laid for uh, a, a, a standard triple. He was only using the yellow ball as a reception ball at that stage. Um, but it, Robbie had the a ball in corner four and, a, and then so he had a shot at the hoop four pioneer, which he hit and that's where we find ourselves. Yep. So Reg has gone through um, hoop one very yep. nicely and he has a, 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 a cheeky eight return. Nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeky eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine back. And then if he gets that, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll pop back over to lawn three to watch Matthews. And as we saw uh, yesterday, we're seeing the good camera work there of Reg's routine of um, setting himself for these shots. It's, yeah. it's about a two-minute process. It is. Um, it took a, it, it, yeah. it, uh, the, when he was taking mm. the the third ball shot, it, it was uh, a, a tremendous amount of deliberation. Well, we ought to stick with Reg here because this is a very important, important shot, shot, obviously. Yeah. I mean, to, to miss this would be incredibly gifty for... Uh, no. But actually, we found ourselves... My miscommunication with the, the camera crew, we should really be on... And oh, I can tell you that Reg has missed, he missed. He has. And, and and the blue ball is down. has gone down into a ball. Yeah. So so Reg, so sorry about that. That's totally my fault for pointing in all sorts of di different directions to uh, and, and it's also the fault of the players yeah. for you know basically not making sure that they're choreographed properly. Uh, so, um, so we'll we'll stick with lawn three, I think. Oh, it was the blue ball for Reg. The blue, but the... Uh, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any no. sense now. Mm. I'll try that. Anyway, we're, we're on lawn three again. And... Um, In a very flat-looking diagonal spread here. Yeah. Robert is sitting. be a shot of about 18 yards yeah. from so whatever direction Matthew's going to be playing. It so from. Pete, um, given the position of Matt's clips, um, what would have been going through Robbie's mind in, in where he, he, the fact that he's placed the red ball, the, the hoop four ball at, at the uh, peg? And <laughs> well, I think Robbie's priority would be is that he can finish with any miss that Matthew does. Um, and he'll he'll gamble on that. There's a bit of work for Matthew to do to triple himself starting on hoop four. So he could have done some other type of leave, but it would have been giving shorter shots and maybe more difficult for Robert himself to finish. So I think he's just, just re returned it to a, a standard leave and and test Matthew out on the distance. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Uh, the, the wind's picked up since I left too, Gareth. So it's yes, it has. Yes, it's, uh, those flags are completely horizontal now. Sure. You know, yep. Three games in, you know, and it's got to get concentration up and fluids up and bits and pieces. And so it'll be really interesting to see how Matt plays this. Quick and out and of the blocks. Robert knows the value of setting... Good leaves the Good right leaves. Just, yeah. just throughout a match, and he yep. puts a lot of concentration to it, and, and that's uh, that's near spot on. So, oh, Matt, thinking that he might Is have a there? shot. No, no, I think he's thought the better of that, and instead he's going to play yep. from corner three down the line. So we'll while we're while we're waiting for, for yeah. Matt to do yeah, that, I'll see. tell you that on lawn four, Ed is nicely in front of hoop one with a playing an approach shot and has hoop two loaded and really would by his standards would uh, imagine that he'll be picking up nine hoops. So Matt. Cap on back to front. Crouching, settling into his tripod stance. Making sure he's steady. Fires down the line. Oh, middle of the ball. Fantastic shot. Beautiful shot there from Matt. Ed safely through. Hoop one. Hoop one. Yep. And, and all balls on off for him to, you yep. know, yep. to get, get. He needs a break under his belt with a good leave and, and yeah. uh, to get himself back into this match. Oh, that's a great shot, Pete. Look at that. He's not only getting the expected load on hoop five, five he's, yep. he's gone up the boundary, flirted with the boundary mm -hmm. to get a beautiful mm -hmm. rush down to hoop four. So that's, that's really classic. That's a nice shot as well, Gareth, because he can get a rush on this to the west boundary, just north of Hoop One area, and it's you know he can yep. certainly um, yes, which is where the yellow is. Get the um, get the balls <laughs> towards four back, and then he's a little bit facing north, so it's going to require a couple of couple of um, couple of good croquet strokes. And exactly as you said, Pete, the uh, black ball is rushed over. To the yeah, yellow. it's just a little bit um, north, so he's you know he's not going to be able to set it um, quite as well because he's not going to get the black over as an escape ball for peeling four back going to sit. So I was saying it's just a bit unfortunate no. the, the, where the rush was facing. So. But he he, he he can stop shot it most of the way there, yeah. hit back onto the yellow, but he's not, he's playing it no. safe, he's putting the ball at hoop six. Yeah, so the, the black has gone mainly to six really, yeah. hasn't it? It's, yeah, not, but it's, it's not. Yeah, there's a bit of an each way bet type play. But the the load at hoop five is, is still weak, so he's going to have to play a good croquet yes. stroke if he's... So the idea is he's going to be putting yellow up to um, four back mm. and getting east of... 
of the blue. I'm not sure what Murphy does, and I haven't seen the triple this delayed for him. It's usually, you know, um, happening a lot quicker. So I'm not certainly, sure if he certainly crouching down as if plays to it to own. hoop sits like this. Yeah. Good. Okay. Still, still options. Yeah, for yeah. To, so, to so, so maybe he's he might look to yeah. put the yellow over to four back after yeah. he's made six, as it rush it over there, peel it through, yeah. coming. It's all good. Prioritise the break. Make no, make yeah. no errors. Don't hand the balls over, and and he's still capable of um, doing some magic after after this hoop. Camera is staying on Matthew, but Edward on lawn four is in tight position at hoop three and all smooth with a tight break ahead of him. Yep. Yeah, that's an, uh, we've seen a lot of textbook drawn breaks on that, that lawn down that side. As they come through from three to four, you could almost photocopy that and transpose it on. So, Pete, um, is it possible here for Matthew that uh, that he might, uh, as he loads one back, might play it so that after he's made six with yellow, that the yellow could be rushed over to four back? Um, very much so, and he's got yeah. two balls to work it. So, the, yeah. well, Matthew's walked up to that spot on the lawn. So, I, I call it the two by two. So, you're looking for a spot, you know, two yards, two yards east of one back, two yards south. But some players prefer, you know, two and three and bits and pieces. So, he's he's putting a lot of attention into that um, positioning, and so he'll rush yellow over. Yep. Yeah. A little, little bit short, but it's all right. And then you can make black off hoop sits and then get this attempt at going to one back with a croquet stroke. Uh, so it was a good patient couple of shots there from Matthew directly after hoop four to set, set this. And it's a nice line of play. Plum in front of six. Yeah, and the lawn, besides the wind, Gareth, they look like they've picked up a slight bit in pace Ooh. as well. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, the easiest of hoops. Yeah. Just what happened there? Well, he, he, he didn't hit it very hard, so no. I take it he's looking for a bit of control out of the hoop. Can he have it again? Well, <laughs> he can. Games <laughs> <laughs> of croquet, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh yeah. dear! I think Robert will be that accommodating. Oh gosh, that's that. That's you think you'll have one mulligan one. each and yes, world yeah. championship yeah. semi-final? Yeah, yes. It's, it's well, that's that's a switch mm. around. The beauty of croquet is always that's something on the cards. Well, we don't change we, things around. We we don't have uh, we don't have ac access to slow motion replay. Mm -hmm. I don't think, but uh, certainly, if we did, that would be that would be a, a very can't notable. Quite see the colour of the clips. We're at a fair distance. So okay, blues on hoop one, isn't it? And blacks on four back. Right. Yep. And Robbie with a seven yarder at uh, at the yep. black ball. But red, red may have difficulty going to um, hoop one. I'm not exactly sure how close to the leg it is, so he might be um, getting manipulating that red to the yellow area. As if he hits this first roco, of course. 
Well, seven yards. Get back in. Matt hitting such a good lift shot. Oh, Robbie's missed it. Oh, don't believe it. We'll be able to see a, a replay of Matt's little indiscretion earlier, Pete, if you look at the screen. So oh, yeah, okay. In slow-mo. And in slow-mo. Oh. And, ooh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Didn't seem much wrong at all. No. He just yeah, fell into the leg of the hoop. It's a bit like Reg's one yesterday. Yeah. It was completely unexpected. Yeah, so totally unexpected. Under control and yeah. clubbed it into the leg. And same hoop. Well, you don't often see Robbie miss seven yards, but um, that gives Matt a chance to get out of the the chair of despair and into the the fray. Fantastic for us spectators when there's a bit of interaction like this. Yeah, you get a few yeah, oohs and ahs from the sideline yeah, when these yeah, that things was happen. Definitely an ooh and an ah from the commentary box when Matt clanged that hoop and most unexpectedly Rob yeah. missed the. Needs a bit of attention on this. Um, Roke, he's called yeah. the, um, uh, the referee to out. To yeah. So what do you think? The, is it is it because the the hoops quite. Close or well, from up here, it doesn't. It doesn't look, look like look it from too here. bad. Uh, Blake might be able to give us a. No, it's probably a bit late for to dispatch Blake to that spot. But, um, but yeah. oh yeah, mm. yeah, it is a bit close. Yeah. Nice camera work there from the team, and a nice yeah, shot. And a good shot. Matt. Uh, not only not only clipping the yellow, but mm. hitting it with some authority mm. towards where the blue ball is. So, always a little bit nervy on that boundary there. It's certainly, it's certainly not uh, spirit level flat. Yeah, there's a good but second uh, picked up in the pace of the lawn. Yeah, Gareth. So he's. That's since you know eight thirty this morning. I mean, it's going a lot quicker. So, uh, if he can get the brake back under control here, which it looks like it's going to be, mm -hmm. with a pioneer at one back and a. Uh, probably a slightly longer approach yeah, shot than he yeah, would have liked it's, it's at, at six. Oh, it's a nice position to be able to load the black fairly deep and yes. not have to control this hoop. And and exa shot. Exactly as you said. Black looks as if it's gone quite a long way from where I'm I'm looking. It's the black? Yeah. Oh, yeah so I think intended. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, intended yeah. But... Uh, Yep. And this time, yep. no good. mistake. Uh, and a good, good settling to be able to swing with yeah. a bit of, yeah. a bit of yeah. power into the shot. So, if um, if Matt has got this back under control, then we might pop over to lawn four to see the conclusion of Ed's nine. He's, uh, Ed has just got two balls by the peg at the moment. He'll be taking off to three back. So we'll, we'll have uh, Reg's lift shot. I suppose that could take a while, though. So... Oh. 
Well, he, yeah, there's a bit of interest in Matthew, how he's going to dig things out. He's, um, we might be able to spin the cameras onto Ed for a little bit and just watch him set his leave. He hasn't had yeah, no, much, I think, much uh, camera time. Yeah, well, we, we have. Oh, we, we have. have. Very we, good. We have. Sorry, yeah, I missed that. Uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah. out the window rather yeah. than the monitor. So much so that I need to update the score on that one. Yeah, um, so that is that will now be... Uh, Andrew, since we got his collar up on the back of his neck, keep that sun off, it's quite, it's quite bright and... We've got these round the long way here. It's, yeah. uh, there's, there's no way of telling what how this works out. So actually, that's so this is the break still under control from Edward after the yeah. reg um, miss after hoop two. So Edward's controlled a pretty tight break all the way to through safely through 